Welcome back to House and Home. If you're looking to buy yourself a house, you have come to the perfect place. Tina Pomat from BSP gives us an update on what Bank South Pacific has done in the communities around us and more information regarding the first home ownership scheme loans. Hello viewers and happy 41st Independence Anniversary. Owning a house is one thing most individuals aim to have, although it may seem difficult to accomplish. For this segment, we feature the First Home Ownership Scheme Loan, which is a partnership initiative between the government of Papua New Guinea and BSP to create a pathway for Papua New Guineans to have access to specially structured loans to acquire their first home. In order to be eligible, you must be a PNG citizen and a first home buyer. You must provide proof and evidence of 10% equity and you must be an employee of either the public service or the private sector and earning a regular income. The minimum loan amount is 200,000 kina and a maximum of 400,000 kina. The loan term has a minimum of 12 months and a maximum of 40 years. The loan requirements must include provide your bank statement, statement of outstanding debts with other banks or financial institution for the last three months if any, you must provide a three-month statement if account is held with another bank, provide three latest pay slips, and confirmation of employment or copy of contract of employment. Finally, complete a BSP loan application and submit with all loan requirements. Submit a copy of title deed confirming ownership of land lease is state-owned, and statutory declaration confirming acquisition is your first and will be owner-occupied. We will now hear from a happy first home buyer, Rex Paura, who recently purchased his house at Edai Town through the first home ownership scheme loan. My name is Rex. Um, I've been working with a lot of firms and I've been living with my sister for almost uh, 20 years. When I started working, I started renting and you know, I pay 4,000 every month for my rental. And every time I think about it, I'm asking myself, why am I paying so much rental to somebody else? Why cannot I put that into buying a house? And um, I've seen the government who actually came up with a policy of first home ownership. And I was thinking, how can I be able to tap into that and you know, see if I can be able to apply for it? And so I've been reading and I, when I was working with the uh, International Finance Corporation, I actually checked with uh, BSP and BSP was going to actually um, actually going to uh, give out those um, first home ownership scheme. I moved in uh, recently, um, just in August, first of August I moved in. Um, you know, I had a house before that, but um, I was just timing because I was paying rental as well and I had to break um, contracts with my previous uh, rentals. So I timed it until you know, just uh, August and I moved in and I've um, been here then since. And you know, I've been, we've been loving this place. It's quiet in the night, it's quiet during the day as well when no one's working. Um, and it's just like you're in a totally different place. So um, basically, um, you just need to uh, comply with the requirements, which is um, the main one is uh, equity, which is your 10% equity. Um, you've got to have your bank statements and uh, your uh, pay, uh, pay slip for the last three fortnights. And uh, that's basically it. And you don't need much. And as soon as you produce those things, um, the bank gets on it really fast. I love VSP. They're really fast, efficient. Uh, when, when I got all my documents together, um, the payslip, the employment letter, um, the equity together, it's, it took them a month for them to actually fast track it. You know, less than a few weeks they asked me to come inside my contract and you know, it was one of the greatest feelings to, to actually go and sign the contract and you know, it's amazing and I love BSP for doing that. I think um, you know, that my advice to especially young people, uh, you know, stop living under your parents you know, try to get out there and try to start living on your own. You know, it's, I'm, I live here, I own this place, I'm myself, you know. I'm not living under my parents or anybody, you know. Yes, my sister helped me and everything, but once I started working, you know, I'm on my own now. And um, it's 
a feeling of being an individual that you are dependent and you know you can do whatever you want and I think my advice to them is that look you know you've got your savings first things buy a house you know second thing buy a car and um, BSP can help you with that you know actually I got a car as well BSP gave me a loan free <laughs> so I got a first loan for the house first ownership scheme and then I got a second loan to buy a car and you know I promised myself that uh, I'll pay it back in one year even though it's going to take me 40 years, they gave me 40 years leeway to pay it back. I promised myself I'm going to pay it back in one year. How I do it, that's going to be interesting. <laughs> Thank you, Rex, for your inspiring story. For more information, call our Client Service Centre on 320-1212 or 7030 or you can also visit any of our BSP branches nationwide and we will be happy to assist you. Moving on to our sponsorship events for this month, BSP was the naming rights sponsor to the 2016 BSP Men's Snooker Champions held at La Mana, Laguna and the Aviate Club from the 8th to the 18th September. Up in the Highlands, the famous Goroka show came alive during the Lawn Independence Weekend. BSP supported with 25,000 kina and the Goroka branch staff were out opening accounts and assisting showgoers with mobile banking and other banking requirements. In the New Guinea Islands, the dusty township of Rabaul came alive with the celebration of the Frenji Penny Festival also held from the 16th to the 18th of September. BSP came on board as bronze sponsor to the festival which also included a float parade and stalls showcasing products and services by different sponsors. And finally to our community projects, BSP handed over four projects for this month. Up in the Highlands, the Kundiawa branch installed two water tanks and presented 20 mattresses and toiletries to Migende Health Centre and the Goroka branch installed four water tanks to the Goroka Technical College and two more water tanks to North and East Goroka Primary. Over in the Momase region, Lay Commercial Centre installed three water tanks to Lay Adventist Primary School and Waigani Banking Centre here in Port Mosby renovated the Widows Association Counseling Centre which will be used for various activities to help its members. Well viewers, that's all we have for you for this segment. Do join me next month for more BSP updates. Until then, goodbye. No doubt there are plenty of good reasons to own the roof over your head, both emotionally and financially. Thank you BSP for helping everyday Papua New Guineans achieve the dreams of owning a house. For more information, visit BSP website or call into one of BSP branches and their lovely staff will assist you. Well, do not touch the button on the remote control because we have a new show for you and it is with BNG Trading Limited showcasing us how to use the right diapers for your babies. <laughs>